Now this video explains you the analogy between the property market and the derivatives market. So you can look at this slide here, we have given a tabular column. In the first row, under the property market, we have the base. So what do we buy in the property market? We buy a plot, a flat or an individual house. So these forms a base for property market. This is what we buy in a property market. Similarly, in the derivatives market, we have something called as underlying. So that is the technical word used in derivatives market. The underlying means it can be a stocks, bonds, forex rate. Now we are into equity derivatives. We are studying about equity derivatives. So we are concerned only about stocks and indices. So underlying can be stocks, bonds, forex rate for general derivatives. For under uh, equity derivatives, we have stocks and ind indices. Now the second row, under property market, we have an agreement. So whenever you buy a plot or flat, you enter into an agreement. Under derivatives market, we enter into something called as a futures or options contract. So these futures and options contract are traded in stock exchanges. The third point, under property market, the buyer and the seller sign it personally, sign the agreement personally. So they will sign on a stamped paper. But in a derivatives market, POA is applicable. POA means power of attorney. So whenever you buy futures or options, in a, no trader signs on the stamped paper. So instead of that particular trader or the investor, the broker will sign it. That is because the trader has already given power of attorney to the broker. The fourth point, whenever we purchase a plot or flat in the property market, we give something called as a advance amount. So whenever we enter into that agreement, we give an advance amount and agree to pay the remaining amount after three months or six months. So that is what we do in property market. So under derivatives market, we do the same thing, but the technical word for that amount is called as initial margin or premium. Now the initial margin is applicable for futures and premium is applicable for options. And the fifth point, there is a time period involved in settling the deals in property market. In derivatives market, we have the same logic and that's called as expiry date. An expiry date for equity derivatives is the last Thursday of every month. So that is fixed as the last day of the contract after which the contract will expire. Now in the property market, what we usually do is we give an advance amount, enter into an agreement and after three months or six months, so whatever that is there in the agreement, after three months or six months, we pay the full amount and get the property. So that is what we are doing in the property market. The same logic exists in derivatives market and it is called as exercise. For example, if you are buying BHL futures right now, it means that you have entered into an agreement to purchase BHL shares after three months or two months or one month. So after one month, if you are paying in full, and taking BHL shares in your DMAT account. That process is called as exercise. So this tabular column explains you the analogy between the property market and derivatives market.